you know, it's, it feels so good. I get up about four o'clock in the morning, I pray. Why did I say that in front of him? Because we had seven, you finish praying, let's go back to That's right, you, you finish praying. <laughs> Mm -hmm. per perfect timing. Perfect timing. That's, mm -hmm. right. That's right. Don't get back in that bed. Mm -hmm. You got the power now. Right, yeah. Right. Got the Holy Ghost power. Yeah. But it feels so good, you know, mm -hmm. to get to that place where I don't I don't need anything. Mm -hmm. I think I go shopping because I'm supposed to. Mm -hmm. You know. But I don't use any of it. You know, unless I'm cooking it and giving it to the guys upstairs. What do they say? We're glad you don't want to eat it. <laughs> More for us. Yeah. But it. <laughs> I feel I feel so different. When I was knocked off the ballot, it hurt like hell. It didn't hurt here. It hurt here. Mm. How could you be so cruel? What could you possibly gain from this? Uh, but it didn't break my heart. I didn't feel that pain in my chest or in my stomach. Um, I felt like the Lord said, well, I gave you tools. You want to you wanna go after it, find it for it. Yeah, you don't have to have it. It doesn't make you. But if you feel like you were wrong and you know what it's like to be wrong and, and you want to show people how to stand up, go ahead. But this is not something you need. It's interesting you said about here yeah. because that's that throat chakra and that's the part of you that needs to be heard, right. that voice that needs to speak. But it's not just the voice for you. Given all that you just said, it's the voice for those who you want to serve. To the voice? Yes. And so that that hurting it here, hurting here, is a place where you start to try and purify so that no matter what it you do, no matter what they do, your voice can still be a voice for those that you want to serve. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it feels like because I didn't feel it in my chest. And usually when I'm hurting, it's hurting here. Mm -hmm. On your gut. Like yeah, or, or, yeah, on your gut. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it there. And I, I certainly thank God for that. Because that told me that he that that he was protecting me and protecting my heart. But I just don't understand how people can be so evil. And it's almost funny to them. You know. Um, and what what I found surprising was the amount of grown women that cried. And, and they felt it here. They felt that I, not just that I had been wrong, but their opportunity had been taken. You know, that's what, yeah. I don't know, you can't keep hurting people. And it, and it was different people. It wasn't black women crying, it was black women, it was white women, it was Latino women, Haitian women, you know very upset because they saw my run as an opportunity not necessarily even to help them but to help in the struggle mm -hmm. their voices yeah their voices yeah so what's your next move politically i think i need to I do have a political move, and that move is to help women and men who lost their children due to gun violence, mm -hmm. to help them to heal. Mm -hmm. And if I can help them to heal, not so much by, by encouraging them to hold on to their faith, but teaching them how to push for legislation mm -hmm. that makes changes, that gets guns out of the hands of mentally ill people and, and uh, children. But the journey is getting them to talk about their pain. Yeah. And that, that's the challenge. 